Hey everybody, so today I was to uh, do a little base training. So the workout is called a steady run, and that is to run for 10 minutes to warm up, and then run six miles at a steady pace, do another uh, 10 minutes after that of an easy run, and then cool down for 10 minutes. But since I'm not running, I'm converting that over to doing the workout on my mountain bike, and I'm gonna use time as a way to do that. So if I were to run at a steady pace, now Garmin defines a steady run pace as between an easy run and threshold run. So if I were to run at a steady pace, it would take me roughly 45 minutes to complete six miles. So I'm going to do 45 minutes at what I feel like, and I'm going to go by feel, um, is going to be you know how much work I'm putting into to riding my bike at that steady pace on my mountain bike for 45 minutes. So again, I'm going to warm up for 10 minutes, I'll ride hard for 45 minutes, do another 10 minutes after that easy, and then another 10 minutes after that uh, to cool down. So uh, I think if my math is right, that's about 75 minutes, so hour and 15 minutes, which is perfect because the loop that I run or ride run and ride is uh, just a little over 13 miles and that typically if I'm on my bicycle will take about an hour and 15 minutes. So I suspect today's workout is going to be somewhere around 13 miles altogether. And it's all about base. Today is all about that base training. <laughs> I, I think that's a song, right? All about that base. It's all about that base, about that base. No trouble. Oh gosh, I'm going to have that song stuck in my head now all day. <laughs> Okay, so I'm going to try to fashion my GoPro up to my bike, maybe a little bit better because the audio wasn't terrific on, I think it was yesterday's video, the day before, something like that. Earlier when I did that, um, I was just a little bit too far away from the mic. The angle was kind of poor, so I'm going to try to fix that a little bit today, maybe raise up the GoPro. Uh, but when I do that, I run the risk of the GoPro really bouncing around a lot. So I'm just going to play with it a little bit today and hopefully I'll get you guys a little bit better uh, footage as I'm completing the workout. All right, so I am just going to get into it. Got to find bike on the Garmin. All right. Oh, I got to wear these workout gloves because my handlebars, they really start to bother my palms after a while. So I found these are just gloves that you would normally lift weights with. But they got quite a bit of padding there and I found them to be really helpful. Uh, to protect my hands. They still get, my palms still get a little bit sore, but also, you know, if I were to take a spill, God forbid that I, I hopefully I don't, but if I were to take a spill, at least I got a little bit of protection on my hands and definitely going to be wearing my helmet because I have wiped out in the past and pretty much knocked myself cuckoo for Cocoa Puffs in the past and I don't want to do that again. You live and you learn, I guess. All right, I think we're getting all buckled up start the timer or start the watch all right first 10 minutes it's gonna be warming up all right so <clears throat> question of the day uh, I've gotten a lot of questions myself uh, recently about what I'm using for my handheld water bottle and my vest and that kind of thing so I thought I'd throw it out there to the group uh, do you run with a hydration vest and if so which one do you use and how do you like it and if not what do you use? I know we've talked about hydration in the past, but uh, it keeps coming up, so I think it's a worthwhile topic to revisit. Uh, I got on a Nathan hydration vest today. I think that's all I own, honestly. They're all Nathan vests. In fact, I think I might do a comparison between the ones that I do have here and maybe in an upcoming video. But, all right, so let's chew on that one in the comment section below. All right, I gotta get back into this workout. All right, so something I didn't mention earlier is when I'm riding at that steady pace, so that uh, you know that hard pace for 45 minutes. I'm going to be doing it up out of the saddle, and the reason I'm doing that is because when I'm standing up on the pedals, I can get full extension of my legs, which feels really good on my hip right now. So, all right, that's the plan. Let's see how it works out.
<coughs> the two times that I am sitting in down rather than being up out of the saddle is when I'm going around corners like that or going downhill. Because when I go downhill, when I'm standing up, I, I simply can't turn my pedals over fast enough to keep up with my momentum. So I do sit down from time to time. Or maybe if I'm getting a drink. Corners, downhill, getting a drink, probably find me sitting. Other than that, I'm going to be up out of the saddle. Oh, time for a drink. Oh. Hmm. So I've got, of course, my hydration vest on. I do have a bottle holder on my bike, but it sets so low underneath the frame I can't reach it. So in order to use it, I'd have to stop. And I, I don't want to fuss with that. I got some really great hydration vests. This one's from Nathan. Love it. Actually, I love all of them, but I like different things about different vests. Uh, but I've got two 18 ounce bottles of water with me today because a couple days ago I went out for a similar amount of time and I ran out of water about oh, maybe three quarters of the way through and I didn't want that to happen today so I figured you know I'll take I'll double it and hopefully that'll be enough all right there you back into it in that 10 minute cool down phase uh, really solid workout today I'm really happy with it you know, coming off a rest day makes a big difference because uh, my legs felt you know pretty fresh but I'm not going to overdo it because I still have another workout yet today later this evening and I got a lot of stuff to do in between times so I gotta go home and mow my lawn and then I'm gonna go over and take care of my mom's lawn work on that a little bit for her it's getting a little bit uh, out of control so lots to do yet today so I'm not going to extend this workout any more than it's been scheduled but I'm looking forward to uh, the afternoon workout all right I'm gonna let you go for now and I'll catch up with you here in just a couple of minutes when I get home uh, so hopefully that footage was a little better for you than the last time uh, I do feel like I had a pretty solid workout today uh, I enjoyed the ride, that's for sure. What a gorgeous day out. Uh, got a lot to do today, so I'm gonna let you go for now, but hey, thanks for making it to the end of the video. Oh, you guys, don't forget, you know, I'd love to hear from you if you wanna videotape yourself, you know, do a little selfie, or send me maybe an audio. Um, I'd love to feature you in an upcoming video where you can just say hi to the Runtall family. And you can email me those things at uh, runtall2020 at gmail.com. So runtall2020 at gmail.com. All right, as always, run tall, run strong. Be kind of one another. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you tomorrow.